Let's do a little transient sculpting. What do I mean by that? Well, a uh, transient is the higher amplitude sound at the beginning of a waveform or a note or a sound object. A transient is contact. It's the secret. It's the moment when everything happens. On percussive sounds, it tends to be sort of a spike in level, and it's therefore fairly easy to use to generate other time-synced events. If we use it to generate functions with maths, we can even use it to change the overall envelope of the original sound. As with most things, this will make more sense when we demonstrate it. Here's one of the morphogene reels we showcased in a recent video. It's drum loops from the Mattel Optica. They're pretty dirty sounding. Lots of space and sound in between the transients. Now let's run the envelope follower from Morphogene. That's its CV output. To channel one of the maths at the signal input. This generates a constant set of functions based exactly on the changing amplitude of the sound. I'm turning rise up just enough to create a series of gates at the end of rise output which are coming from the transients. We're gonna use the end of rise gate to trigger the other maths channel. This creates a new function every time there's a transient and we can change the rise and fall time and shape for this function independently of the envelope of the original sound. Let's patch it to the control input for Modumex. I'm using the variable output for this mass channel because these are 10 volt functions and the Modumix only accepts up to five volts before clipping. Uh, we, can use, we can take advantage of this because it gives us another dimension of control over the transmit. It almost creates a sustain phase when the fall time is longer and the amp output amplitude is high. At lower levels we can get Nice crispy tails from the Modimix's crossover distortion. Let's go ahead and compare this to the original loop. Manipulating transient tails like this gives us a lot of sonic possibilities from any sound, many of which won't even be known until we start working with the particulars. Sometimes the individual shapes of specific waves interact with the maths integrators in ways that create sub-rhythms that weren't even there in the original. Unfound sound. I should also note that there's more than one way to patch this up with maths, but this is the way I found that worked best with this particular material. The main thing is that you want to derive a gate from each transient and then use that gate to trigger a separate function. Remember, the way maths shapes control voltages is just as malleable as those voltages themselves. Since we're almost surgically removing a lot of the tails of these sounds, let's add some new tails in as well with the airbird.
There's a few directions we could go here. Actually, let me think about that. There are infinite directions we could go. Let's just try out a couple of them. One popular sound is gated reverb, and there are a bunch of different ways to do that too. We could use the Herbverb's own envelope follower output to control the mix. This works most traditionally with uh, pre-delay all the way down so that it follows the same transients we're feeding it. If we turn pre-delay up, we can get a rhythmically delayed gated reverb, or ridger. Another method would be to use another copy of our sculpted transient function to control the mix. I find this one to be a little on the nose. We could run it through a middle channel of maths first and take the OR out with a little bit of an offset on another channel to keep it from fully closing. I'd actually rather do something a little different here. Let's take the end of splice gate and use it to clock tempi. And since this is a four beat loop in a relatively straight time, let's try a less square tempo, a uh, divide by six. Actually, I'm sorry. Let's do a times six and use that to modulate. Nice little sub-rhythm to add a little more depth to this loop. Another potential variation would be to uh, take another copy of the sound itself and mold it to the modulator on the second channel of Modumix for an octave up effect. Changing up the dynamics of your sounds over time, even within the span of one single sound, can give it a completely different sonic identity, completely different rhythm, and is a really great jumping off point for all kinds of experimentation. Happy patching.